Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DNS Adventures and today we're going to be showing you what we've been doing around our property. So one of the challenges that we're faced with on our little homestead here is wanting to be able to travel but also wanting to be able to grow things. Yeah. So we're trying to find some plants that don't require a ton of maintenance that we can still take some shorter trips and leave them be while we're out traveling. One of the plants that we decided to go with are some blueberry plants. So we do have a problem with deer and bear around here. As of now, this netting, well, considering we don't even have any fruit on them right now or any berries on them, no animals are trying to bother them, but we do have some netting that should keep the deer out. As far as the bear go, Obviously the netting's not gonna keep bear out, but we'll see, I guess, in the springtime <laughs> yeah. how that goes. But I think the first year we're supposed to take the flowers off of the yeah. blueberries, right? Mm -hmm. So we probably won't get a harvest next year anyway until these things grow up a little bit more. But we plan on putting another row of plants here, either blueberry or some sort of bushes, berry bushes in front of here at some point. We just got four of them to start with just to see how they do in our soil. If they do well, we'll plant more. So that's one of the things we're growing here. Let's go over to our other little garden. So recently on Instagram, we also um, posted that we had to cut down our two mature apple trees because they were rotting at the base and it was pretty bad. They weren't gonna survive. You can just see here. You can see it was all rotted at the base or in the center. The heartwood, I believe is what you call it. And this one over here where we have the soil hanging up against. Like it shouldn't jiggle when I kick it. <laughs> but in their place, we planted six fruit trees. Two peach trees that we found along our property line. Those are just more of an experiment just to see if we can transplant them over here to get them growing. Just stinky little guys. Then we bought two pear trees over here and two apple trees. Do you remember the varieties, varieties? of them? Yeah, mm -hmm. so we have kefir and Bartlett pear, and we have honey crisp and Gala, I think. Yeah, I think those yeah. are. Yeah, so we're gonna start out with those. We might plant a couple more around here. The only problem is we do, when we bring the RV around here, we do kind of swing into the grass in order to make the turn around here. We're not sure if we're gonna fill this in with gravel someday or not, but you need a lot of room to be able to swing that RV around. So, <laughs> so we may or may not plant some more trees over here. We're kind of forming a triangle right now with them just so we have enough room to get the RV around. Another project we started was building this raised bed. We got some soil from that side of the property over there, filled in, kind of built up the base so we can get it level, threw some logs in there and some other things to fill up the base of it that'll deteriorate over time. So then we put a layer of raised bed soil on top of that. And now we're gonna be planting strawberries in it. Indiana also planted strawberries throughout the bases of these fruit trees. So the other plant we planted is called comfrey. Now this is something uh, that's commonly used in permaculture, which is a method of gardening and landscaping that um, requires less maintenance and inputs. So you're trying to create more like a closed loop system, so you don't need to keep fertilizing and um, adding nutrients and, and things from elsewhere. You try and get everything all from the same place. So this is a nutrient accumulator. So it has a really long root. It's gonna grab nutrients from deep in the soil, bring them up into the leaves, and then you cut the leaves off and you place them around the base of the fruit trees and it fertilizes them. And we gotta give a shout out to Damien and Emily for- Yeah, our friends Damien and Emily who gave us the the comfrey and the strawberries that we're planting today yep. too. So. <laughs> they had a bunch of little offshooters from their mother plants and yeah. they're very nice and let us have some of those so we can start our own strawberry patches throughout the yeah property. so we have quite a few we're going to be planting a bunch of strawberries and a bunch of comfrey today mm -hmm. so this is just the start of our little orchard slash permaculture area we're probably going to have a traditional garden further up that way on the other side of the rv since it is up higher we don't have to worry about the rv hitting blocking the sun or anything up there so probably have a traditional garden up there at some point while we're not traveling but yeah. until we're done traveling this is going to be our our experiment slash food production yeah. <laughs> so right now Deanna's just 
planning where she wants to plant the strawberries or are you just going to be planning them at the intersection of those lines yeah so i'm going to do the middle of each so i've oh, done, okay this is a four by eight foot bed so this in half of it is 16 one foot squares and typically you use like a 12 to a 16 inch spacing these are ever bearing strawberries so they're gonna be a little bit smaller so i think a 12 foot or 12 inch spacing on these should be pretty good so we got these from a friend they had a lot of leaves on them but he recommended cutting all but one off so that it didn't um, take too many nutrients from the the roots because you want the roots to develop really well So is it okay to plant this in the late fall like we're doing now? Yeah, so they say either early spring or late fall is the best time to get the daughters from a full grown plant. Um, really any time that the ground is workable I think is okay. But this is preferable um, in the fall I think because these leaves that are above ground will eventually die back and uh, it gives the plants more time to grow their roots before they start coming up in spring so that's why fall is the best time <laughs> we also got a couple bags of some pine mulch to put around these for the winter time as well so this is our second i guess it's a lower bed not a raised bed yes yeah, in ground we don't plan on adding walls around this but just saw some rotting wood around along the tree line decided to make a little box out of it i'm gonna plant some strawberries in there and see if they take off all right guys well i think that's the end of our update just wanted to show you what you what we've been up to and why our videos haven't really been coming out as much recently we've been busy working so if you guys like this video hit that like button subscribe if you want to see more videos like it you can also check us out at dnsadventures.com and as always adventure on and garden on and homestead <laughs> on and all those other ons <laughs>